Okay, so this is a continuing from this is a continuing from the first my binder video. Okay, got it. So again, the food is the last category of my binder. It is a huge section. So that's who's why it's the last. So after the after the uh, categories, I have two of these little pocket, I don't know what you call them, but one, and I have them in different colors, so this one is green. Um, I keep the inserts in here up until I cut them, clip the coupons out, the manufacturer's coupons, okay? So these are, as you see, these are all the manufacturer ins the manufacturer coupons inserts in this one. Okay, this is before I I actually went through them. I put them in here. They're all organized, and then they're just ready to be clipped. Okay, the next one is my blue folder. This is where I put my receipts. This is how much I know. This is how much money I save. So I keep all my receipts, right? It's a good thing to do that even when you buy the newspaper to see how much money you're saving. You want to know that is this really benefiting you? If not, then you're doing something wrong, right? So you always want to reflect back on the original receipt that you did. I think the original receipt that I did was my first time couponing, I saved um, probably about 40-50% and I had just started. This is, this is over a year and a half ago. I just started, but I tell you, I had invested time in watching YouTube videos. I had invested time, I took a workshop class. I had invested time to know what I can do and what I can't do. And whenever I made a mistake, I fixed it. So again, it's a learning experience. Um, I am not perfect, but I will know like if, if at all I have an answer, trust me, I will either go to YouTube or I will ask the manager at the store, right? So far, so far, I have not, I have not went back. So I have, right now, almost two years later, I am saving at least 90 to 100 percent savings all the time. That's all the time. I kid you not. I, I, I have receipts to show that. Okay.